Hello friends, are you ready to do some more traveling? Great! Is that a pie? Yup. I just have to ask, why are you holding a pie? Because you say we are going to have fun and fill a pie with geese, which is kind of weird. I didn't know that geese even liked pie. Who knew? What? No, I said, we are going to have fun and fill a pie, a city in Greece. Are you sure that's what you said? Fine, all the more pie for me. Attention all passengers, now boarding Eastview Kids, flight 5790-0321, destination Philippi. Let's go. Passport please, welcome to Philippi. Here's a little something to keep in mind during your travels. Attention passengers, we have an important announcement today. Knowing Jesus makes us irresistible. Now, the Red Bus Tours is ready to take you on your way. Welcome friends, our site today is Philippi, because that is where our true story from the book of Acts takes place. It's about two guys named Silas and Paul, whose original name was Saul. Remember him? He's the guy who met Jesus on the road to Damascus and whose heart was completely changed. Yep, he went from hating Christians to loving Christians. And he began to share about Jesus wherever he went. Well, one day, Paul and Silas were going to a place to pray. On the way, they met a female slave. She had a spirit that helped her tell people what was going to happen. This spirit was not from God. So Paul commanded the spirit to come out of her. Well, the problem was, this slave earned a lot of money for her owners by doing this. So when they realized their hope of making money was gone, they grabbed Paul and Silas, and they were thrown into prison. The jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. He put them deep inside the prison and fastened their feet so they couldn't get away. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing to God. The prisoners there were listening to them. But then suddenly, there was a powerful earthquake. It shook the prison from top to bottom. All the prison doors flew open, and everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and saw that the prison doors were open. He pulled out his sword and was going to kill himself because he thought the prisoner had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself. We are all here. The jailer rushed in, shaking with fear. He fell down in front of Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out. He asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus. Then you and your family will be saved. And they shared the word of the Lord with him and all those who lived in his household. Even at that hour of the night, the jailer cared for them, washed their wounds, and right away, he and everyone who lived with them were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and he set a meal in front of them. He and everyone who lived with him were filled with joy. They had become believers in God. What an amazing story. Today's big idea, knowing Jesus makes us irresistible. Well, that is all of our time for today. Enjoy the rest of your travels. We will see you in another time and in another place. Oh man, we are late for our flight. We are going to have to run to get there in time. But make sure you jump over any suitcases, books, or cats that might be in your way. And don't forget to grab a pretzel. Ready? Stand up and let's practice together. Run in place. Now jump over the suitcase. Great, now let's keep going. Run in place. Jump, run in place. Jump, run in place. Jump, jump, run in place. Three, run in place. Jump, run in place. Jump, run in place. <sighs> we made it. Now take a seat. Um, 
we have some cloud coverage up here. I need you all to say the words on the screen so we can move around these clouds. Buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Well, that was quite a ride. The good news is we are coming in for landing. Hey guys, welcome home. In your travels today, you learned that knowing Jesus makes us irresistible. I want to know, how are you going to use that in your everyday life? You can use kind and appropriate words. You can be a good friend and have a cheerful attitude even when things don't go your way. I gotta tell you, when we know Jesus, he makes us different than the world around us. And that difference draws people to Jesus because they see something special in their lives. Now, I want you to remember as you travel home, to school, or wherever you go, knowing Jesus makes us irresistible. See you next time!